today we are going to make an Alexa. separate leaves from the stems so and I don't take from all in one place that way it kind of lets it grow out um, and this is just chocolate mint tea you can make it into tea you can make it into whatever uh, you can garnish with it there are a lot of uses but today I'm going to make some mint elixir which has several different uses but we're gonna go with about this little bundle right here. All right, so now we're in the kitchen and we're going to actually make our elixir. I've taken and rinsed off because I don't use any chemicals or anything out there in the garden. Um, but I want to make sure that nothing's peed on it. You know, the goats, the whatever. So I've rinsed it pretty good and it's just sitting right here. I'm going to add one cup of sugar to this pot and then I'm going to add one cup of water to this pot. I'm going to turn my back burner on high and I'm going to put, I'm going to stir in the sugar just enough to get it dissolving. Okay. And just get it so that it's, it'll be a milky color. I'll show you here in just a minute. Okay, you can still see and, and feel the grit in there. Let me see if I can take you over. See, it's just kind of a milky substance. We just do it to mix it up. And then we're going to take our uh, mint and we're going to put it in there. And we're going to just bring this to a boil. Now, the one thing about bringing it to a boil is here it's says one there. I got water on the bottom, sorry. Um, when we get done with this, we definitely want it to um, be clear. The reason that I brought that to your attention on how milky it is when you dissolve sugar is we are dissolving a lot of sugar. We're actually making elixir. Um, some people will say a syrup, but you don't want to eat, drink this, eat this, or straight. I mean, this is an elixir, a concentrate, if you will, of what we're doing. So we've got one cup of sugar, one cup of water, and then I'll give you a, I just kind of smash it down. I don't cut it up. If you choose to <clears throat> cut it up, shred it, whatever, that's fine. But pretty much, that's how it's in there. Let me turn on this light. Nice and lovely. Um, you can still see it. it's a milky color. It will be clear. Oops, sorry. See, it's not a, a clear, clear. It will be awesomely clear. Like, the sugar will be dissolved away. And it will have a hue about it. Like a tint, if you will. So, we're going to bring this to a boil. And like they say, wash it. a watch pot never boils. But this is such a small amount, it really will in just a few minutes on the camera. And you can see that it's already starting too if I can hold this still well enough. There we go. Um, and we're going to really bring this to a roaring boil. We don't want any part left unturned. So let's just bring that to a good boil. I'll come back and show you what it looks like here in a few minutes when it really gets going. Okay, so it has come to a rolling boil. And I mean a good rolling boil. Everything has pretty much solidified. There's no hue. You can't hear the sugar in there. You can't see the um, hazy or milky color. You can just see the color of the actual mint flavoring. All the leaves are down in there. I just let it boil a few minutes and then we're going to turn it off. Remove it from the uh, stove. And then I'll show you what we do. All right, so let's 
set this down right here. Hopefully you guys can get a good view of this. But um, I use reusable um, coffee filters to strain everything. But pretty much I've got a mason jar here. I've got my little funnel on top. And I've got my uh, coffee filter, reusable coffee filter in there. And I'm simply going to strain everything out of it. Now, this is not something you want to eat um, right out of the jar. Although it does taste good, it is straight sugar. Um, it's pretty much just flavored sugar. Because all your greens come out right here. And I just take these and put them in the compost pile. Probably not the best thing to do with them. But that's what I do with them. They just go into the compost bin. Um, and then this goes in the sink. And I seal it with a lid. Um, now, this is not canned, canned. This has to go in the fridge. Just saying. You can see now that it's got the green tint. Sorry about the noise. It does have a green tint. Now. Next question, what is elixir used for? This is chocolate mint elixir. So when you're preparing lamb, lamb takes a lamb sauce. This is the start of a lamb sauce. This is start of a mint jelly. Uh, let's see, what else? My favorite use is to take and have, I make green tea in the summer and I drink it and then I put a teaspoon of this in for flavoring and you have like a mint tea. You can make mint juleps out of it. Um, there are so many uses. Let's see, have, if you've ever had a child with a tummy ache and you've dissolved a peppermint or whatever in a bottle for them in lukewarm water to settle their tummy, this is the same thing. You can add different things to this to make cough syrups. M mint elixirs and elixirs alike can ha just have so many different uses. But this right here is a super concentrated elixir. People will say that it's kind of like syrup, and yes, I guess you could say it is. It's sweet, but it's super, super sweet. So it's concentrated. One cup of water, one cup of sugar, and then your mint flavoring. So there it is, how to make mint elixir. You guys, if you have any other uses for it, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also follow us on Facebook at The Straw Family Farm. Or find us on the web at farmoftheprairie.com.